NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew-9 next February, uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed, and the specifics in the schedule will be discussed momentarily. Two American astronauts are stranded on the ISS, and the reason might surprise you. Boeing Starliner, once hailed as the future of space travel, is facing catastrophic failures that have left NASA scrambling for a solution. How did one of America's most iconic companies end up here? Let's dive into the story behind Boeing's crisis in space. The year 2024 will not be a glamorous chapter in Boeing's history. In January, Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 experienced a terrifying incident when it lost a door mid-flight just six minutes after takeoff. The Boeing 737 MAX 9 was ascending after departing from Portland when a loud boom was followed by a rush of air and screams. A refrigerator-sized hole was left in the side of the 220-passenger plane. Fortunately, no one was seated next to the door, but the sudden decompression caused the oxygen masks to deploy. The NTSB's investigation is ongoing, but a preliminary report published on February 6th revealed that four bolts meant to secure the door plug were missing. Boeing's records show evidence that the plug had been reinstalled without these bolts before the aircraft's initial delivery. In June 2024, the former Boeing CEO, David Calhoun, faced intense questioning during a Senate hearing. In July, Boeing agreed to plead guilty to one charge of conspiracy to defraud the United States over its role in two fatal 737 MAX crashes, resulting in fines of up to $487 million. Boeing's ties to the military-industrial complex likely shielded it from more severe consequences, leading one victim advocate to describe the settlement as another sweetheart deal. Boeing had originally reached an agreement in January 2021 with federal prosecutors to settle criminal charges and defer prosecution. The company agreed to improve its quality control and transparency during a three-year probationary period. However, the Alaska Airlines incident occurred just days before the probation was set to end, prompting a series of federal investigations into Boeing's practices. In August, Ryanair CEO Michael O'Leary criticized Boeing's management, noting that his airline had received only half of the planes it ordered. Boeing's supply chain issues and slower-than-expected assembly line have caused significant delays. Boeing's toxic corporate culture it's undeniable that Boeing has a significant problem with its corporate culture. Accountability is lacking, particularly at the executive level, where CEOs frequently change. Honesty and transparency are not rewarded, as multiple whistleblowers have testified. The engineering culture that once defined Boeing has been replaced by a cover-your-ass mentality. On social media, Boeing has become a meme company, with jokes about prioritizing diversity standards over safety standards. Not only were the U.S. senators at the hearing unsatisfied with Dave Calhoun's answers, but Elon Musk also expressed his dissatisfaction on X, writing, The CEO of an aircraft company should know how to design aircraft, not spreadsheets, referring to Dave Calhoun's background as an accountant. As a result, Boeing appointed a new CEO, Kelly Ortberg, 64, who took up his post on August the 8th. With a 35-year career behind him, including over 30 years at Rockwell Collins, Ortberg faces enormous challenges in regaining the trust of customers, authorities, employees, and suppliers. The problems with Starliner Now let's discuss the issues with Boeing's Starliner, which have left two American astronauts stranded on the ISS. They can only be rescued by the next SpaceX Dragon capsule flight. This is perhaps the greatest image loss Boeing could face. And everyone involved can be lucky that there is a SpaceX option, because Elon Musk mentioned on X, hardly anyone knows that there was a massive effort to block SpaceX from providing astronaut transport for NASA. The astronauts were supposed to be on an eight-day mission to the ISS to test the Starliner capsule. Now the Starliner will return to Earth without a crew to allow NASA and Boeing to continue collecting data without risking lives. We have had mistakes done in the past. We lost two space shuttles as a result of there not being a, a culture 
in which information could come forward. Uh, we have been very solicitous of all of our employees that if you have some objection, you come forward. Space flight is risky, even at its safest, safest and even at its most routine. And a test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine. And so the decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. Our core value is safety, and it is our North Star. And I'm grateful to NASA and to Boeing for their teams, for all the incredible and detailed work to get to this decision. NASA and Boeing identified helium leaks and issues with the spacecraft's reaction control thrusters on June the 6th as Starliner approached the space station. Since then, engineering teams have conducted extensive work, including data reviews, flight and ground testing, independent reviews with agency propulsion experts, and the development of various contingency plans. Why is NASA concerned about these issues? For a safe re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, the capsule must fly with its heat shield facing forward. However, this requires the service module to separate from the crew module first. Due to the malfunctioning thrusters and the helium leak, it's uncertain whether this will happen as planned. Mission managers also conducted a hot fire test in space, firing Starliner's thrusters in short bursts while it remained docked at the space station. Preliminary results indicated that all but one of the 28 thrusters performed well, but tests showed that a tiny Teflon seal may swell under high temperatures, potentially blocking the flow of propellant into the thrusters. This issue could be responsible for the thruster problems observed during docking. How did it come to this? The Boeing Starliner was supposed to be a game changer for space travel, but it's been hit with more delays than a rain-checked picnic. The issues began in December 2019, when the first test flight of the Starliner failed to reach the International Space Station. A problem with the Starliner's mission clock caused it to enter the wrong orbit after launch, preventing the spacecraft from reaching the ISS. Additionally, other software issues were discovered during the flight that could have damaged the spacecraft during re-entry, potentially causing a catastrophic collision between the service module and crew capsule. The second unmanned test flight, OFT-2, planned for August 2021, was postponed due to problems with the Starliner's fuel valves. These valves were blocked by moisture reacting with the fuel, leading to corrosion. Due to these numerous issues and delays, the development costs of the Starliner have risen significantly. Selected by NASA in 2014, Boeing received a fixed-price contract worth $4.2 billion to develop Starliner for the commercial crew program, while SpaceX received only $2.6 billion to develop Crew Dragon. Despite receiving significantly more funding, Boeing has faced substantial budget overruns exceeding $1.5 billion. Elon Musk wrote on X, Too many non-technical managers at Boeing. Originally planned to be operational in 2017, the Starliner project has encountered delays, management issues, and engineering challenges. Unlike previous cost-plus contracts, these new contracts were fixed price, placing the financial risk of cost overruns on the companies themselves. Conclusion Boeing is in a crisis that threatens its very existence. Their cost-cutting measures, such as reducing necessary tests and outsourcing software development for $9 an hour, were not their best ideas. Boeing's crisis isn't just about delayed flights or stranded astronauts, it's about the future of aerospace innovation and the trust we've placed in this giant of industry. As Boeing struggles to fix its mistakes, the world is watching. Will they rise to the challenge and restore their legacy? Or will this be the end of an era for the company that once led the skies? One thing is certain, the next few years will determine not just the fate of Boeing, but the direction of American aerospace.